Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we are going to check out Stray Kids' latest comebacks, uh, Case 143. I'm so behind. I am sorry. Um, why am I always so behind with like Stray Kids? I always have something going on when Stray Kids um, <laughs> launches something. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to do the music video and then the dance practice. Let's get to it. Before we get to it, just want to let you guys know that I will be reacting to the full album on my Patreon. Link will be down below. Are we going like monster on this? <laughs> Cute. Oh my god. Damn, Dapper. Very straight can sound so far. They're burning the place. Damn, they look looking good. They look fine. <laughs> Like crop top. That's cute. That concept is adorable. Oh. That's a high note too. The owl. It's not just a scream. That's actually sung. That's low. Of course. Hey. The dancing. Can't wait to see the dance practice. They're just building their bodies. Yes. <laughs> I love like the the contrast with like the hardcore scenes, and then you have like the soft vibes. <laughs> That's cute. That's adorable. <laughs> Nice layering. Why do I keep getting attracted? I cannot explain this reaction. Nice. That's cool. It's like a video game. That styling is really good. Oh, the vocals! Yes! Amen! Osetto! <laughs> the comedy! Catchy already. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, is my YouTube player fucking up? Let that rewind. Can't wait to see how that will be for the choreo. It's tripping me out. Then going into like YouTube mode. Nice. They look really good in this. And I really like the, the clothes, the fashion. The concept is genius. It's it's a cause you know we always cause we do get a lot of um you know either just a powerful concept and then you get you know, the more like a vibrant concept, right? Like it's really tough to think of a, a concept right off the top of my head uh, and, and think of a song that has uh, both concepts together. The heart, the more powerful, darker concept and then a vibrant piece, you know, contrasting it. But like here, I feel like they did a great combination. The concept is genius. Like it, it's, you know, you got fluffy monsters or criminals, you know, going out everywhere and like on the loose and then you have them as cops and then at the same time they're 
they're the little monsters too. I feel like that's the concept. I'm probably wrong. Uh, but great comedy, great comedic timing for the performance aspect of it, like the acting. The raps and the voice, the vocal aspect of the song, uh, I feel like that they're a little bit more toned down from what we're used to from Stray Kids. That doesn't mean that the song is bad. No, I'm not saying that. It's just like we've had title tracks, you know, where the uh, rap or like the vocal like, is just a little bit more, you know, like in your face and they're more prominent in the song. Um, this one, I feel like the strength of it is in the chorus. The one, four, three, the, the chants, the chanting part of it. But we'll see. I might, I might be completely wrong. I was really distracted by like how good they look and stuff. <laughs> so it might be a different opinion after several more listens. Okay, the dance practice. Let's get to it. <laughs> They're in one million dance studio. <laughs> I like the footsteps, like the sound of it. It hurts my ear, the, the footsteps, the squeaky, but I love it still. Oh! That move! It does remind me of Enhypen's move for Team Dash. They did something similar to it, and I never. Fi it's it not. I'm not saying that you know they copied. Of course, um, it's similar. It's not completely the same, but like that turn, um, I've never quite figured out how they're done. Um, it's like it, it's a trick. Like how? Is it the butt? I don't think I'll... No, it, it takes a lot of mental capacity to figure this out, so I'm just not gonna. <laughs> if you guys have already figured it out, because since this this came out last month, let me know. I, I never figured out the Inhyped one too, so... But it's really cool. This is cool. Oh, nice. The precision. Ooh. The chorus is a lot stronger than the beginning, as it normally is anyway. Okay, going back to the, yeah. The, the first verse in the intro, um, it's, it, it's, a, it's more of a build up to the chorus. This one, I like the effect. You know, it's simple, but it's very mesmerizing. Um, the way it was just like, it's just still, and then like, you don't know what's gonna happen. And then suddenly they shift to the side. That's cool. And like the, the arm work at the same time as them moving like this, it's genius. Like, it's just like, it draws you in quite well. And it almost like fucks up with your mind. Like you don't know where to look. There's just a lot of surprises in this chorus because like they're doing very unconventional movements and I hate oh my god I hate it if there's like a like if there's a reference like with God's menu there are definitely a lot of references in that that I did not catch until afterwards <laughs> um, so I don't know either I think creating like shapes of like little monsters like with this but apart from that the execution wise you know like with the with the wave and stuff you know that's cool and like the emphasis on each like the oh my god i've been away for so long I'm like really really struggling with my terms um what is that called like the picture that they're creating is just they're very clear you know if it's gonna be like here or like slanted or like here what is that called and then you have the footwork going at the same time. I like this style. That, like the level change on that, love that. It does remind me of, you know, with the moment, uh, with the moment for Maniac, like when they're, they're going like this. It's, I mean, it's not as sexy as that one, but like, I like it because Lena's in the front. <laughs> Thank you. 
Cool. Oh, that's like a piano. Piano keys. Okay, sorry. The I liked the footsteps earlier, but now the squeakiness because I'm wearing earphones, it's actually it's hurting my ears now. <laughs> That part? Ugh. Love the imagery. This vibe. Ah. <laughs> I like the chorus. The chorus is a strength of this choreography. That's high. Very precise. Oh my god, Lino kills that move. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. The squeakiness. Oh my god, the body rolls. That footwork is insane. Love that. Bend down. Hey. I the spacing is really good. The space awareness. They're just really moving as one. And that's hard. They're they're moving like a block. Nice. Is someone vacuuming? <laughs> I don't know if there's a specific theme to this. Like, it's probably something that I miss again. I, I always have a hard time figuring out the kind of themes that straight kids do in their choreography because um, their concepts are quite precise. But in the choreography aspect of it, they do a good job of like doing more of an undertone rather than in your face. Let me know in the comment section if you do know because I'm this is just a first reaction and I'm not like getting anything. Um, but the strongest point of this is the the, uh, the is the chorus, um, the precision in the choreography. You know, like from the tips of the fingers to the toes, it's a great balance. The level changes. You know, like when when Lino is coming in, I don't think there was a clear stand out to this specific choreo. Like, of course, that will vary um, subjectively depending on your bias, who you're looking at, that kind of thing. But for me. Um, specifically in the dance aspect, I think Lino and Hyunjin, I guess, you know, that makes sense because they're your main dancers. Um, I feel like they did have a lot more of moments in the choreography. But that's not to say that, you know, the guy, the other guys did bad. No, 100% no. Um, it's more like, I, and I always talk about this, it's, it's like the choreography marrying the artist and how does it come out and how does it uh, come across to us? do the choreography showcases the skill of the dancer. So like, for example, if they're really good with like with body rolls um, and then you give it to a, a dancer who is a little bit more stiffer, I'm not saying anybody here is stiff, but like, you know, and just in general, if it's a body roll that you give it to a stiffer dancer, then it may not be as nice. So that's what I mean by uh, marrying the choreography with the dancer. I think overall, I'm not sure if this is the strongest title track for them. Um, it might be one of those things that requires a little bit more listens, it, but it's definitely not the same uh, feeling as I got from their like their other their previous uh, title tracks, which have been like back to back fave right away. This is a little bit more. I think I guess this is just more like okay for me. Um, of course, that's gonna be different for you. Music is subjective. Um, I can't wait to hear the the B sides um, because oh my god, that last album. Just genius. Huge kudos to them for that last album. So I can't wait to hear what they have for this 
uh, for, for Max event. The album reaction will be available on my Patreon. Keep an eye out on it. Should definitely be this week, for sure. Well, thank you guys so much for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.